Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna find out if premium fuel makes this 2018 F-150 any faster compared to regular fuel. So this is a 2018 F-150 with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. It's a small engine, turbocharged, and a heavy truck. So I feel like this is a good test on whether premium fuel is better for speed We've already tested it for towing and we haven't really found it to be any better. But we're gonna find out if it makes it faster. So it is recommended for heavy towing situations to use premium fuel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do zero to 60. We're gonna put it in four wheel drive high. We're gonna brake boost it just a little bit and we're gonna put the pedal to the floor and see which, whether regular fuel is faster or premium fuel. Now we've gotten all the regular fuel out after doing the power pull, we've uh, ran premium in it for about a week just to make sure it was all the way through. And we filled it all the way up with premium fuel. So it's all premium, 93. So we're gonna go ahead and run the first test here. This was done weeks ago. This is, uh, like I said, four wheel drive with a little bit of brake boosting. Here's the clip, roll it. All right, so I'm gonna do a boosted launch in four wheel drive auto. We're going to see what the 0 to 60 is for this truck. So here we go. Woo, pretty quick. Woo, pretty quick, pretty quick. 0 to 60 and what? 6.2 seconds. Ooh, didn't touch 70. All right, and back to the future here. We achieved 6.2 seconds, zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds. And I found that number by using the app that I have on my phone that measures zero to 60. And I also double checked that using the editing software, just going right into the very first frame where the needle starts to move and then to the frame where the needle hits 60 and it is accurate 6.2 seconds so now with premium fuel in the tank we're going to test the 0 to 60 here's the clip roll it got another red light ac off here we go Oh. All right, let's see what we got. Seven seconds with the AC on. The same speed as with regular fuel. Very interesting. All right, and just like that, we are done. With regular fuel, we got the 60 in 6.2 seconds. And with premium fuel, we got the 60 in 6.2 seconds. So what does all this mean? Does this mean that premium fuel is useless? Does it mean that it doesn't work, that it doesn't do anything? Well, I think yes and no. There are a lot of variables. Today was a lot cooler of a day than the first run with regular fuel. Um, there's a lot more fuel in the vehicle. This is a 36 gallon tank, so it makes it significantly heavier. Whereas the test with regular gas, the tank was, the, the truck only had about maybe 10 gallons or so in it so that could be a factor so it's just really difficult to do this test without a lot of expensive equipment you know something to drain the fuel out of the vehicle on the same day so that you have the same weather conditions uh, something to make sure that you put the same amount of fuel because the weight of the vehicle changed but I did my best with what I have. I made sure the AC was off for both runs. I tried my best to launch the vehicle the same way, both with four wheel drive high to eliminate any wheel spin. There was absolutely no wheel spin uh, in either test. But does this mean that premium fuel doesn't do anything? I think in modern engines, it doesn't do as much. now. This engine is a high compression, small V6, and it's in a truck. So it's under a lot of stress. 
but at the same time with the addition of direct injection with the motor it changes the need of premium fuel quite a bit see back in the old days when you turbocharged an engine they would have to back the compression down a bit in order for the vehicle to resist detonation whereas with these new engines they run the 10 to 1 compression ratio on these on the ford 5.0 when it came out with dual injection, they bumped the compression up to 12 to 1 because of direct injection. Before direct injection, you couldn't get 12 to 1 compression ratio out of a V8 naturally aspirated. And you definitely couldn't get 10 to 1 compression ratio out of a turbocharged engine. You couldn't really even get 9 to 1. A lot of times they would bump the compression down to 8 to 1 in turbo applications. But... Direct, inje direct injection on gasoline engines really changed a lot of that. They really made a lot of extra power. It's why if you supercharge a 5.0 Coyote V8 and the F-150, you can get up to 700 plus horsepower. Because now with direct injection, the cooling effect of the fuel being sprayed into the cylinder, because it's under something like 2,000 PSI of pressure, and then it comes out of that little little sprayer that little sprayer in the cylinder and it's right in the cylinder all that pressure combined with it being right in the cylinder creates a cooling effect and it is why you can get so much more compression out of these engines which mitigates the need for premium fuel because that cooling effect lowers the detonation and premium fuel lowers the detonation as well so in theory the two together should work but in practice regular fuel seems to be okay now if you are doing the extreme towing or the extreme hot weather or the extreme whatever maybe it's still worth it for premium fuel but in these new direct injected engines where they clearly state that you can run regular fuel or premium fuel it's fine just to run regular fuel i don't think you'll notice any improvements under normal circumstances under normal towing unless you're going to go to the to the highest level towing for an f-150 weight distributing a 13,000 pound trailer then i think premium fuel may not be worth it for these trucks now if you're an older vehicle that has port injection that has maybe a turbocharger or a high performance maybe from uh from the 2000s that's not direct injected premium fuel is going to have a significant effect on power and fuel economy i think but comment below tell me your experiences have you done any tests uh butt dyno doesn't count because i will say that from my butt dyno i thought i was going way faster with premium fuel and i thought the tires were chirping way more with premium fuel and i don't know if that is the case but comment below tell me what you think share the video thanks for watching and have a great day over and out